Hi guys, got a minor emergency here. My grandsons are staying the night and the night light that we use isn't working. I've taken the bottom off and I can see it's that contact there is rusted through. It should be a spring sticking out like that. More like that. So I shall have to unscrew it and get it out again. We'll see if I can get it out. I've got some other ones here that I've taken out of some old battery boxes. In fact, that one there that I just found. Yeah. Where did it go? That one, that's what we're looking for. That's why I strip things down and save all the bits and pieces. put together can't we? Push button there, push button there, some LEDs and then there's our battery box so that's the one that needs Desoldering and resoldering those two wires there. So, unfortunately, Nanny is shouting downstairs to the boys. Uh, solder arm we'll need. With my timer on it that I showed you the other day. The only thing is, it doesn't fit in right next to the existing plugs. So it has to go one plug away. Come on. 15 seconds, 30 seconds, uh, 30 seconds, 30 minutes. I'd be quite impressed if I could fix this in 30 seconds. So yeah, those need to come off. I could just wait for the soldering arm to heat up. I can desolder them. But it's rusted through anyway. So, with a bit of luck, that will slide out if we push it in the right direction. Oh, that's well corroded. Behind it to loosen it up. There we go. Yeah, I don't think we can get much conductivity through a piece of rust like that. Same hole, or I've got to trim it. I 
I think it would fit in the same hole, but there's a bit of rusted metal down the edge. Okay, that's in place. There's our little tag that I need to solder onto. Just go and wet my bit of uh, sponge so we can clean the end of the solder now. Good. Where's my solder? There's some. Use the slightly thicker stuff. Zoom in a bit. So it's those two leads. Do this and stay where you can see what I'm doing. I think we've done it. Have we got three good batteries to put in there? batteries are any good. Don't see anything happening. Nothing happening. Could just be those batteries are no good. They were just laying on the table. I'll go and get my little meter and check.
is three. Nothing happening. See any other wires coming loose? That's a what? Two volts. That indicates something's not making contact. across to there. Ah, that one's corroded too. That's what our problem is. Can we rip that out and swap it? See, it's all rusty. Interesting. That's more like it. All right. That's more like it. So, it was, that one was completely rusted away, and that one is corroded over there. I can probably polish that up and reuse it. So, put this all back together.
Right. Where are the screws? Just ran out of time on the camera again there. I've got it switched to 60 frames per second instead of 30 frames per second. So instead of doing 23 minutes in a section, it only does about 17 minutes, which confuses me. So I'm not quite sure how far we got before the camera stopped filming. So I'll just do the last bit again. We've replaced all these rusty terminals or springs. Uh, the cover's in the other room there. I'll put that back on in a minute. But we've got the star map, which, if we're in a dark room, projects stars onto the ceiling. Turn that off. On this side, we just have pretty light-changing LEDs. And we can have them both on, I think. Yes. So if I turn that off, turn that off. There we are. Pretty coloured lights, which we use as a night light for the boys. There's actually a sequence there I didn't know existed. It's interesting. So one position we just have the single LED off, single LED, press the other side, pretty lights. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Job done, that can go back upstairs into the boys' bedroom. Sharp eyed might have noticed when I put that back together, the top was sitting down too far. I'd forgotten there was a ring that went in there first that stops the top dropping right down. So it's in place now, so now it turns round at the right height properly. So job done now. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.